before we open the uh, body cavities, we have to disinfect the fish externally in order to eliminate contamination from the external body. That can be done simply by spraying 70% uh, ethanol on the surface, on both sides. Usually we take a two, two centimeter piece of uh, filaments from the second gill arc. This is, this is the second gill arc. And if you just, so that's quite enough. So try to avoid to damage the filaments that might uh, create artifacts during histological examination. There are a number of ways of opening a fish. Here we demonstrate one of these methods. Simply just start by having an incision in the mandibular region, ventrally on the midline. And then use scissor and incise on the medial line towards the vent. To expose the internal organs properly, you can just remove a good portion of the body wall. So after opening the abdominal cavity, we have to take samples for microbiology and uh, molecular biology that requires a good care of contamination. So we insert simply the inoculating needle into the kidney. Here is a kidney. Here you see is the you see the swimming bladder deflated and here you see the uh, along the spinal column is the kidney the mid kidney so insert the nucleating needle into the mid knee kidney <coughs> and prepare a good just stick on the agar So take on the red eagle. So we are done. Now we take samples into the transport medium and the RNA data. First, let's start from the kidney. We can most probably take a good portion of the kidney, including the capsule. So we put it on the Petri dish. From here, we can just take a very small portion, which is not more than the head of a match. into the uh, arena ladder. And a good portion we can take into the uh, empty Eppendorf. eyes, and a good portion of it into the transport medium.
The rest will go directly to, uh, to the 10% formalin buffer for histological examination. Here you have the deflated uh, swimming bladder. It receives the liver, and the peritoneal fat with, with the intestine and the stomach and the pyloric sacchae. Here we have the spleen. Really a big sp spleen, but it's quite normal. It's not swollen or uh, or show any any kind of lesion. So still, we take a portion of the uh, spleen let's use another petri dish still we can take samples for a renal lighter in transport medium or even uh, into the uh, into the uh, empty Eppendorf, or we can use an empty plastic uh, plastic bag before culture for uh, uh, or for uh, molecular examination. I put it directly, and we should not forget to label all samples at the end, and, uh, and the rest will go directly to the uh, formally for histology. Here we have the liver. We have to see the, the color, and if it is swollen, and if other lesions are visible. So from the liver, you just incise around one centimeter by one centimeter, and the thickness should, uh, all organs for histological examination should be at least, or uh, less than three uh, millimeter thickness, because that is very important for the fixative to go through, for, 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 for proper fixation. So we took from liver, from liver, from kidney, from uh, spleen, and the next will be from the heart. Here is the heart. When you take histological examinations, you have to be very careful not to damage the organ. We have to take out the whole heart into the petri dish and dissect into two symmetrical parts. Three portions are can be identified here. Here is the white one. This is the uh, bulbous arteriosus, and this one, this projection here is the atrium, and this is a ventricle. So we should try to dissect vertically into two symmetrical parts and take one part into the uh, into the uh, buffered formalin for histological examination. Here we have to be very careful that all parts are included when we dissect. This portion has the atrium 
bulbous arteriosus and the ventricle. So we can take this part directly into the 10% buffered formalin. And here you find the pancreas and the pyloric seche. And just have a good incision to take from all layers. This is it. In fact, from other parts of the digestive tract, you can just take samples from uh, the colon or other parts of the uh, intestine or even from the, from the stomach itself. But usually, uh, it is quite informative to take from the pyloric seche. Here you see different, these very small openings in the pyloric seche. And, uh, and the pancreas tissue is webbed into, into these uh, canals. So we took from the heart, the liver, pancreas, pyloric seche, the spleen, the kidney. Next, we are going to take sample from the skin uh, and the muscle together. Just locate the dorsal fin. This is a dorsal fin. Just below the dorsal fin, try to locate the so-called lateral line. This is a lateral line. If you see here, it was long way, it's a lateral line. So take a good portion of the skin and muscle just above and below the lateral line, including the lateral line. So you have to make uh, vertical incisions and this is a lateral line just just try to dissect out a good portion of piece of muscle and skin thickness as usual should not exceed four millimeter for the fixative to go into the tissue. And the purpose that we took here is just on the lateral lines uh, are a good reference to include both white and red muscle in, in, in salmon, for example. And these are basically the set of organs that are normally sampled unless and otherwise other uh, specific diseases are suspected. When suspecting diseases that affect, for example, the central nervous system, we should take samples from the brain. Uh, and that of the eye, we should take the eye. That is uh, only during when specific diseases affecting these organs are suspected. So now we'll try to just take out uh, the brain from this fish. Here is the brain tissue. From here we have to just take it out very carefully not to damage the tissue. Don't use a hooked or toothed forceps. Here's a very good portion. I think all, all parts are included. So this can go directly to, to the preservative. Good. So depending on uh, lesions visible on or around the eye, we can also take the eye into into
take all the surrounding tissue together, not only just the eye. It's very important. But the eye should be preserved in unbuffered, unbuffered formalia. So when we are done with taking all required samples from a fish, we have to, we have to write down a report. Uh, we have observed the external body, the internal organs, and we have to register all pathological lesions observed. Can be discoloration or any lesion, hemorrhage, swelling, and, and so on. And this is very important. Either you just use uh, blank paper to write down your observations or, or simply use a form which is prepared in advance.